I don't know what these people are trying, okay. Don't they realize who I am? And the beep and the bob. Beep boop boop bop. Beep boop boop beep bop bop. Beep boop boop beep bop boop bop. Beep boop boop beep boop bop. Beep boop boop bop bop. Beep boop boop beep bop bop. Beep boop boop beep boop boop bop. Beep beep boop boop bop bop. Beep boop boop bop. Boo bee boo boo bee boo bop bee boo boo bee bop bee bop boo boo bee boo bop bop bee boo boo bop bop boo bee boo boo bee boo bop bee bop boo bee boo boo bee bop boo bee bop bop bee boo boo bop bee boo boo bee bop bop bee boo boo bee bop boo bop bee boo boo bee boo bop bee boo boo bop bop bee boo boo bee bop bop bee boo boo bee boo boo bop bee bee boo boo bop bop bee boo boo bop Boo bee boo boo bee boo bop bee boo boo bee bop bee bop boo boo bee boo bop bop bee boo boo bop bop boo bee boo boo bee boo boo bee bop boo bee boo boo bee bop boo bee bop boo bop. Hello everyone, before getting into the actual build, I've got to say that obviously we are on, on a very early stage of the game, so a lot of it's going to change. There's going to be a lot of patches, a lot of uh, buffs, maybe nerfs. I think Bebop is in a good state. In, in fact, I would say like it's not like that strong, despite, you know, each ultimate can, can be very powerful, but it's kind of conditional. And unlike other, other heroes, you really need to, you know, be very skillful with the, with the grabs. And in the normal chaos of the lock, right, when there's a lot of things going on in team fights, can be really hard to, to know not only what to grab, right, that, but also when to grab it and from where to grab it, right. And sometimes you grab a, a hero and it can't even totally be bad for your team. So. It's a bit like Blitz in Leo Legends that is high risk, high reward. Uh, in some compositions, it just doesn't work. Your team wants to go forward, and and you are like, no, no, hold on. I, uh, let me grab, and then we clean from there, right? Get that advantage, and then we clean from there. So I don't think it's gonna get nerfed, but still, items might get nerfed. Things might change that might affect Bebop. But the guy here is just to to spread more or less. The way I wanna, I wanna, I like to build Bebop, and even things change. Uh, it's a good uh, starting ground, okay, to start playing and learning the the character. And we we'll see what happens in the future, okay, if there's new ways of playing it and whatnot. But it's pretty clear that when the utility you have, right, with the with the hook, with the ultimate, with the uppercut, it's gonna be a certain way of playing Bebop all forever, right, almost. So. Anyway, let's go into it. Let's have me playing Bebop. Um, kind of good success, honestly. I like this set of items early on. Honestly, basically my exchange is the one I don't. You can have it. You find, your, you find yourself like abusing the enemy a lot with a normal shooting without attack, so to speak. But normally yeah, you want some uh, life regen, endurance speed for, for the health. The Mystic for the bomb early on is very good. Something that I have improved burst here, but you might not upgrade. Just have this early on and that's it. And extra speed, okay? For the region is very good and extra, the extra region is also super good. Now, for first item, normally I go one or the other. Depending on my uh, opponent's playing with poking speed damage, or I think I'm gonna take more speed damage, or for the contrary, uh, bullet damage. You can also build both, it's fine, okay? Because early on, 500 is not a big deal. So that would be the starters, right? And then, out of, outside of lane, right? This one won the sprint boots. You improve them, you get the cooldown, you start ramming a lot. Normally the combo will be, or normally what you will do is just run around, grab someone, do the uppercut, and do the ultimate. There's a lot of damage at uh, level 6, level 7. Um, particularly they are not full life and you know you're playing with your teammates too you're almost guaranteed a kill sometimes you can even solo them right depending on how fed you are 
That would be the idea, right? Early on, run a lot, then you want to get a bit tanky, okay? You are very weak. Gotta say that with this setup, you might die a lot, you might be oh my god, this will sucks. It's because, Bebop, again, it's high risk, high reward. You have the damage, you won't have the defenses, vice versa. So, how you want to play is just have a lot of positioning. You need to learn the positioning, when, when, where to position in team fights, prior to team fights, you know, in the map in general. So this is just for roaming. I like having movement speed. I like having heroes that uh, have mobility, right? It's very important in this game. So this will help you a little bit. And then one of the other. The Enchanted's Barrier is defenses because give you speed seal. But also mitigate is like more health versus spirit seal. And it's conditional because once the spirit seal goes down, it needs to recharge. Right? Good luck not getting shot. See that line? When it's go out, it goes on a cooldown and it comes back. But it gives you some damage. Okay? It gives you some damage, also cooldown. So you're like kinda like, okay, I'm getting some kills, less snowball, you can get this. You feel like your the game is gonna be a bit slower, you can get a bit of defenses. Just not to die. Then improve I cooldown wonder. for the ultimate. Okay. And the key component. You're gonna be hooking, you're gonna be trying to get the advantage right choose when to fight and make your team uh, have a a peak and then you can fight four versus five the idea is like you have the cooldown so you have the hyper beam more or less all the time and then with the minus cleaner you're gonna be super tanky this again extra health is no mitigation but the idea is that with that and hyper beam heals you you should be super tanky just with these two. Now, whenever you don't have the ultimate, right? Uh, you're gonna be weak. So maybe you wanna build My extra defense just in case. Standing. And that's more or less the idea, right? You hook, you do the ultimate, you position yourself good in battlefields, maybe wait for someone to to engage first. And ultimate or do a graph and then do ultimate on him and you know do some damage on the rest of the enemy team. And then let, let your let your team clean. Now this is you know very good case scenario, but sometimes you're gonna face that such an easy game, right? So you're gonna need a stubble maybe. They have a lot of CC, so you just get into the middle of the of the team fight, or you just do you just do a grab, right? But the team has come to you because they're gonna protect their carry, but then you are unstoppable. I try to clean, right? So to clear uh, that way while you are on the top of it, so you don't get CC. That means a lot of CC. Ideally, you don't want to build this, it's very expensive. Ideally, you just want to have better position. Then, we have Knockdown. That works very well versus Hyper Carries. Champions like they have great talent, they have some mobility. Let me show you. Why there's some. It's not a picture there. It should be a picture there, no? Great talent. Or uh, Vindicta, right? I'll make the world a better place, one body at a time. I'm not a witch. Let me see because I never played this character. Mark them at once and dream. You're not getting closer. There you go, the fly. So, she stays like this a lot of the times. She has mobility, sense and great talent, right? So it's hard to sometimes to to hook by some mobility that once. Like once goes on cooldown, okay. And why you stop it once? Need to find higher ground. You can just get this soul, okay? This can't do anything else. So the idea we knock down in this scenario, or with this type of champions, okay, or heroes rather, is that instead of uh, starting with a full, you use the knockdown, right? You target them. It has a very good range, actually. Uh, the range is still there? No way. This is in. Ah, okay. It is, it is actually. You do like that, and then this is warranted, right? This is a warranted. This is not a play. That's why I didn't use it. Don't bully me. You warranted the hook, right? So when they're flying around, right? Let's put them. Uh, I'm gonna be flying around. Let's put them. He's flying around, right? You just do that. He's flying around. And then you warranted the hook. And then they're dead soul because they don't have any other mobility. And otherwise, they're very hard to get. So that's versus hyper carries. It was versus only hyper carries. Hate is very good. Anything, okay? Anything that is a big threat that is kind of squishy. 
That was very well. They are not squishy, it's a bit, or you are a bit more. You are on very fed and you think you can just tank it, you just will. A bit of defenses, maybe improve spirit, maybe unstoppable, you have CC, not this fight. And you just go for the plan of just hook and ultimate, and because of the heal and the armor, it should be good enough. So that mo that's more or less the plan, okay? This if you need a bit more, but the idea is to trigger Divine Clever all the time with the superior Kodan on the ultimate. Let me see. What's the Kodan? Kodan is very smart. 40 seconds. So it's like team fight, then you can move around, do some comments, and it's almost there. The time goes and flies in this game, right? This 40 seconds is a lot of time with it is, it's like you won't be able to right away cast one and then another. You could go refresh it, but I always feel it's too expensive. Kepler at least gives you a bit of cooldown, lifesteal, gives you defenses, gives you a spirit power, okay? If you go for an unstoppable, it's better cooldown. This also gives you cooldown on the hook. Uh, I just throw it there. So you can hook it faster. I feel like a refresher also has super, super. Let's take this, I guess. Super long cooldown, right? I need Right? If it's super long, so instead of going for that, honestly, refreshing will be good, like in a more carry character, right? That can do a rotation that is one shot. For example, like I refresh a lot in, in pocket and things like that. Maybe in Infernos you would want something like that, okay? And I, I'm not gonna say it's, it's bad, just say that it's more conditional that just refreshing every character. Some, some people are doing. Uh, Dynamo also very good, for example. But I feel like cooldown with Divine Clever is better on this character. Because Divine Clever is super good on the stats. So there is that. I have here a Majestic Leap and Echo Sar. Echo Sar, because the idea is that you use hook, right? And then you refresh the hook with this and it has lower cooldown. But I never, I never find myself by it. I never find myself. It's just, again, very expensive. Just very expensive. Now for, I think I Echo Sar, for example, in cards like a pocket and what's the lady called? A lady gaze maybe with a Q. So you can perma. You don't have to go cooldown, and instead you just have this and perma use your uh, your pocket, your pocket in uh, horsey pocket in. It's because of pocket, right? Your uh, poking, your poking ability all the time. I, I see that. I see that happening. Particularly, you know that. Whenever your your ultimate is not even that relevant, right? In in champions like that. So there's that. I don't know. Hook uh, through your early game to get advantage, to get ganks, a lot of mobility. The, the, the speed is very good. Sometimes I find myself buying this. Or I try at least the other day. It can be good, you know? To chase people. To chase people in the position, but only in, in, in game situations where you really have more money for more. But well, you want to buy something for the last fight. Uh, it's not like it's going to change your your team fight itself, okay? But can change your repositioning and all that. But yeah, it's basically it's basically that. A lot of spirit abuse the ultimate. It's very strong in team fights. Uh, people want to try to CC you, but you have unstoppable. Have fun out there, it's something that is expensive, but you rush clever. You're already having tankiness. So you are good in the game. You can skip defenses and go for Kevlar. With a cooldown, without this even, you can have that one because it's pretty strong. And just then rush on the stop ball after that. And you have a combo where you just go in, you cast a stop ball, and, and there's nothing stopping you really, right? There's nothing stopping you because you're gonna ring in you're gonna be super tanky. But you can cast on the stop ball while, while in the game. I'm gonna cast it before you get CC, I would say, because you will stop it. So don't, don't feel good about because they, they're not gonna see they'll see the the, the icon and, and see it but people won't realize what's going on until it's too late okay anyway that's bebop i having good success with it don't feel bad about dying with this uh, hero again like it's, it's a lot of it is positioning you'll get better at that just keep playing it it's very squishy that what the kevlar tech okay at least with kevlar you kind of rush it's not damage, it's a bit of damage with the spirit, okay? But it's more like 
It gives you two things. It gives you the ability to use this in 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 fights, right? And also gives you the tankiness. It rushes the tankiness. You will need like multiple items, and it wouldn't be even enough with this. Also, don't 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 skip other utility on other defenses because of Kelvar, Okay, like sometimes good to rush it because okay. If the game is going your favor, you can rush it. Right, you can get a lot of uh, defenses. But the damage reduction will work very well, okay? On top of all that. So don't don't skip it. Just that the wheel is centered around that rather than the fact that uh, you're squishy and you have an ultimate, but uh, when you use the ultimate you can just get one shot. So you know, this is Kevlar, you life leads, you have you get tankiness. Just just perfect combination, okay? But yeah, the, the hero is um, all in, okay? The hero is a big risk, big reward. So don't feel bad if you're not doing that well. It takes a bit of time. The hooks is just practice, don't worry about it either. Like, sometimes you don't even want to hook, you can just, you know, knock up, put the bomb, and then hook after that. Sorry, okay? Yeah. So don't, don't feel too bad about just, okay, I need to do insane hooks sometimes. A normal hook or with a knockdown can be good enough uh, to win the fight, all right? The, the, the crazy hooks is more in the early stage, really. Later you turn into a beast with a hyper beam. In any case, any other question you want to ask, uh, I'll be glad to answer in the comments. And there isn't a hero you you'll want to, to see me make a guide of, just tell me too in the comments, because... I think I wanna I wanna practice. Uh, uh, maybe Abrams. I know Abrams. I kind of like it. I don't like that much his set, but whatever. But uh, maybe last is uh, something I wanna test out. That so goes uh, with Ivy into that T fight type of character. On on like Kelvin, I feel like uh, last is can be more powerful. Okay, with that ultimate. The ultimate is kind of insane, dude. Come flank with the with the jumps and then and then do the ultimate. But we'll see, okay? Gonna keep making playing games of uh, Deadlock and keep making guides of it. And I hope you you guys like it. See you in the next one, okay? Peace out.